Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another Let's Play Franchise Mode episode. And in this episode, we're definitely going to finish this beautiful, well, not really beautiful yet, but this African habitat in our franchise mode desert. And oh, I just love the surroundings here. It is so freaking beautiful. Um, so yeah, what I first actually want to do is I want to add a few more animals of what like they have a bonus of with other species. Now I'm not going to add all of them to be honest. Um, I am thinking to add the black wildebeest and maybe one of these. So a springbok or a Thompson gazelle. I actually think a Thompson gazelle would be beautiful. They're, they look so much alike by the way. That is crazy. They look a lot alike. Uh, it's only like those things on their heads. I'm not really sure if they're horns. No, I don't think so. I think there's a special name for it, but I just have no idea what the name is. So yeah, Black Wildebeest and Thompson Gazelle we're going to add in this habitat. So let's first add that. We're going to do some management and we're going to do uh, some more decorating in this habitat. And I'm actually cheating a little bit. For those who know, I have a African franchise, no, African sandbox series that I haven't really finished yet. I really want to go back to it someday, but uh, as of right now, I don't really feel it. But I did make some blueprints out of some nature, so we can hopefully use that to decorate this habitat a little bit easier instead of like putting down one by one tree. So I made some blueprints, but some of the blueprints are actually... Um, they're actually locked, which is weird because I have all the research in this franchise. So I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, so hopefully I can still use it because these are like clusters of trees and bushes. And these are more like elephant grass. So, well, we ha at least have a few, but it's a little bit weird actually. Uh, first things first, I get a lot of uh, messages here of animals being stressed, the poor things, it's um, quite a hard one. They actually just need, oh my god, look at that little one. They need something to get a little bit less stressed and, and that could maybe just be like a little bit bigger wall, but do we have enough space for them? Oh, you're having offspring? Like, adding anything will reduce their traversable area, and um, that's gonna be a hard one, but maybe just one or two rocks. Let's see if we have uh, something small, or maybe something like that, just to have give them a little bit more privacy. Um, maybe we can just have it a little bit overlapping here. Um... I'm sorry for the animal that is standing underneath it. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to reduce it, but hopefully this can give them a little bit more privacy. I, th I think that could work, actually. So yeah, we're just gonna, gonna go and check that out. Let's see, because what did I say? The Black Wildebeest and the Thompson Gazelle. So, oh, the question is, how many do we need in that habitat? Um... 3 to 15 and the Thompson Gazelle is also 3. Okay, so we're, so we're just going to add 3 of both of them, I guess. So, animal trading. Uh, oh, good. We can buy it with money. There's only one male, so we're just going to buy it from the Frontier Zoo. And then we're going to buy two females, so 67. Uh, so, you could work, actually. You're pretty young, so let's pick you. And we're going to pick... Okay, let's pick you. So we have three black wildebeest now. Diseased animal. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Diseased animal, we're going to move you past the game. We're going to move you to quarantine because that is something we have learned. Uh, this is a camel again. Why are these camels getting so sick? Is that because of the poop? <laughs> those sounds i love it i love it so we might want to check if we can have another um 
what are you going to do? You're oh, you're gonna bring the animal to quarantine. I think we need another keeper here. Um, I'm just going to do it. We're gonna get another keeper. And hopefully you are able to also clean the habitat for us here. So camel and bongo habitat. And what I want to do is also train you. Uh, can I do that here already? No, you can't train you just yet. We have been training a lot of staff. Uh, we can maybe train you. And we're going to... Well, we can't train you. 8th, the 8th of May? Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, we're going to train you guys. And is there anyone else we can train you? Okay, that's it. Perfect. So black wildebeest and now we do need the pronghorn antelope. No, Thompson gazelle. <laughs> the Thompson gazelle, that's it. Uh, can we select? Yeah, okay, we don't have the black wildebeest in here. Ooh, we have some gold stars in here. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. We need a male though. Well, we can afford one. You're very, very nice. I'm gonna get you, if we are able to, from the Syra Zoo. Thank you so much. And then we're going to get you. And we're gonna get another younger one. Let's pick you. So we have three black wildebeest and three Thompson gazelles. So we're going to add those into the habitat and make sure that they have everything they need to survive in this habitat. I think it's gonna look really cool once they get some babies in and uh, I think it's gonna look really beautiful. And it's nice to have like this interspecies bonus. Oh, look, they're using the shelter. That's so cool. Oh, and even the guests are here. Oh, I love this. This is actually really awesome. I, I know I already seen it from Melon Sue, but still it looks really awesome to have guests standing here looking down i just yeah it's really really cool i'm super happy with this okay so let's see what do we need for the black wildebeest uh there's probably not that much different uh you know what i want to do i'm gonna pause it real quick and i'm gonna put down some of these blueprints and see um what we are able to use so we have some Elephant grass, which is basically going to make sure that the uh, animals are not able to walk in the water. So I have to pay attention to that. I'm going to delete these rocks here. Um, okay, and we're going to... I'm just going to start with, with the first one that I can pick. Unfortunately, I don't get it why it's locked. I'm a bit confused about that. So I actually use these elephant, this elephant grass at the edge of the water, just like I'm, I'm doing right now here, but I did use it in Inama Zoo like this. Um, we can actually just move... Ooh, no, don't you angle snap me. I like to service, I mean... <laughs> we can maybe just move this tree a little bit like that. And I am going to pick another... Elephant grass because it looks just gorgeous guys. It looks gorgeous and it's easier to just pick the blueprint like this Just make some clusters Instead of like putting all the elephant grass back one by one um, I'm going to move you to this corner here. I Love the elephant grass. It's so good. It's it's really beautiful um and I do have another elephant grass. It's a longer piece. Where are we able to fit that in? It's a big piece though, so we might wanna just make it a little bit smaller because this is really, really big. But let's let's have a look. We can probably put you down here. I think this is just too big. Oh wait, maybe we just lower it like like so. It is like having different height elevations. So I it I think it already looks really natural like this. And if we just move you slightly like that, and I'm gonna use this corner piece like so. Okay, okay, better, better. 
and now we're going to see if we can have some more trees in so we have another african cluster right over here oh i think i added something in this blueprint that i don't want so we can split this up maybe into two sections so i'm gonna use that on that side merge to group and i'm going to use this one so now we have two different ones which is very nice actually so i'm gonna use these guys first and i think i'm gonna use that a little bit more in this corner right over here ah oh, this is gonna look so beautiful once we are finished putting this down it's obviously going to reduce the traversable area a little bit but i don't think it matters too much because we have a beautiful big habitat for them so i think they're able to survive this the the less space they can walk i think it's all going to be fine uh, i'm going to put you down like that the only thing is we need to make sure that the animals can still use the water section so we just should not close it off everywhere but having this green and lush feeling already i think that is going to look great i want to reduce a little bit of these rocks here because they're a little bit too many for my taste i put them down myself i know i know <laughs> uh yeah okay like that and maybe just one on that side too i think that's the last elephant grass or is that this one no i think that is the last one we used um okay so i think i'm just gonna pick that one again because that one is pretty decent small wait no let's pick that one with less rocks <laughs> um so how are we going to put you down probably wait no check this one we're going to use african cluster with some tree oh that's that one yes we're gonna use that one instead <laughs> okay i think i'm gonna delete that tree and we're gonna lower this and see if we can put this down in a nice and natural way without making sure that they are not able to reach the water anymore and I'm gonna keep those rocks over there, just like slightly hidden. Uh, that giraffe might get into trouble once we play the game again. But that is looking already so much better and it definitely reminds me of my... Um, <laughs> of uh, Inamazu, but that's fine. I think I'm going to use a little bit more elegant elephant grass on this edge right over here. Uh, I think that will look nice. And maybe a smaller one right over here. And we're gonna use a lot of grass too, by the way, so don't worry too much about that. Um, so, so just to get a little bit more variation in. But this is really, really nice, actually. Oh man. I like this and it's going so much easier. I will definitely make sure that these uh, blueprints I made will also be added in the desert. Even though it's not desert biome, I can imagine that some of you are like, well, I'm going to build an African area in my desert biome. So you might want to use it or shall I just make a separate? I think I make a separate fo folder out of it so you can choose to use it or not and i will link it in the description down below so uh yeah i i hope at least if i can make one person happy with it uh then uh, i think it's already a success <laughs> um just one like that uh do we have some more trees okay so let's delete you um I, th I think I'm gonna make a nice corner here. Oh man, this fits perfect though. I think that is looking wonderful. Now obviously it's very plain here. Do we have a group? Something we can use in the middle maybe? Where was that tree? Where did that tree... I think somewhere over here, right? So we have some beautiful clusters. 
Oh, I like it. I don't know. I don't know. I just really like how this is uh, how this is looking to get like a little bit of different areas because they can't really use the grass. Like the, if I'm right, they should not walk over it. Well, sometimes they do actually, but I think this is already looking awesome. Uh, the elephant grass is just super cool to use as like different variation. I, I am a little bit sad though that I can't really use the cluster, the other clusters I've made. Um, but yeah, we just have to live with it, I guess. Okay, like that. Look at that. It already looks so much more green and lush. Okay, that's the same one. How about we use this one? In the middle I am uh, might be doing a little bit too much <gasps> I am actually not checking oh no I am screwed probably because they're probably yeah oh yeah oh shoo I forgot about that I've been like thinking of like yeah okay we can do that because we we did this to a sandbox but sandbox I turned off everything oh shoo that is a pity, actually, because this is looking really nice. Oh, man. How much you wish you were in sandbox mode now. Time to get back to Inama. No, just kidding, guys. Don't expect me to go back. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not just now, no. Oh, man. This is really a pity, though. Okay, let's check because it's going down already. Um, oh, shoo. Okay, how about now? I should check the others too, it's still too much. Ooh, you, 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 I did too much, guys. Oh, but that's so pretty. Let's remove a little bit more on this side. Can I just open you? Because, I don't know, you... Did I close it myself? Oh, no, it's closing every time I do that. That's really frustrating, though. Like, putting it down, it works, but... Ugh, the other way around, not. Okay, I'm sorry, I need to delete that too. So how about the giraffes? Like, how bad do you feel? Okay, now it's green. And you... Uh, ostrich, I don't like you. <laughs> You're hurting my feelings. Like, honestly, guys, this looks so good. And now we have to... Ugh, I don't like it. Can I just move you? So we reduced you a little bit. Like that. Oh, I didn't think anyone... Well, maybe zebras are able to walk there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How much more do I need to delete now? I was such in a good flow here. <laughs> you don't like the trees? Oh wait, no. That's the cactus and stuff. Well, that is fine for me. It's still 30%. Are you kidding me? Okay, wait. If I play the game... Um, temperature, animal is too hot. Okay, let's make sure that everything else is green then. So we're gonna put down some coolers. Um, I'm gonna lower them into the ground later. Uh, let's make that 20. And copy you. And uh, we're gonna copy that one. Oh, the, the sound of the waterfall is so nice though. I really like it. Okay, and just one or two here. And one more here, I see. Okay, well, this hopefully is enough. Let's check the temperature. So we fill that. We need one more here. We actually also need one more here at the entrance. Oh, shoo. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Okay, we're gonna pick you. And we're gonna lower you down there. Oh, okay, well. Uh, please let this, this be enough. It's not completely enough, but it is what it is. Okay, how are you doing? Plants you don't like. Habitat, 99% cleanliness. That's gonna be a challenge. I might want to hire just one more keeper, but we can also just make sure that they have more training, I guess. Um, nutrition, last meal quality. Let's do some research here. Oh, nice. Uh, spot hyena and American bison. 
and let's okay these guys already fully researched the common ostrich oh we already have some research for the common ostrich um so let's give them because the ostrich is the biggest problem here so we're gonna give the common ostrich grade three how are you having already a higher grade if i didn't select it though it's pretty awkward plain zebra too so it saves it from your other zoos i am guessing uh important alerts uh many guests think pr tickets are on the price oh no we are missing money 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 okay 15 let's make it 15 and see how that will go uh what do we have here three challenges oh well okay so hmm the common ostrich. So what is the common ostrich? The... Oh, we don't have anything for you yet. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Been busy. Uh, Black wildebeest. Okay, we're gonna give you another toy. Uh, we're gonna give you a toy here. And we're gonna make some room for a toy here. And what else do you have? A grazing ball feeder. So we can have one maybe here and hanging grazer feeder mm, okay there is already one there so they're probably sharing most of it too so i think this is pretty all right so now let's check the toms and gazelles so that would be ooh, species yes i know i can write it down guys but i don't want to hurt your guys ears with my typing <laughs> Um, is there anything new here? I don't think so, actually. We might want to have just one big feeding troll somewhere over here, maybe. Just to be sure that if they want some food and there isn't enough enrichment items, they can still have it here. I think the giraffes have their feeding right over here, so that is probably already fine. Um, yeah, I think that we are good to go. How are you feeling about the coverage? Okay, phew, it's, it's green. It's just green. We need to do that research though. I want to hire another vet, I feel, but I also want to have another vet building on this side because I feel like we need it. Uh, so I'm going to temporarily put one down for now. Um... Do we need it actually? I'm unsure. I'm, I'm gonna wait with it just a little tiny bit more. And I wanna give all the keepers, if possible, more training. So, okay, that is fine. So hopefully if they have more training, they can at least make sure that the habitats are not like super dirty or anything. It does look really nice. This looks really empty now. I'm not really happy with that. But if we make sure that the animals have like a uh, better meal quality, because I think that is basically it. Enrichment, uh, species food enrichment. These are the giraffes. We don't really have that research yet. I think at least. Um articulated giraffe so you are here oh no we only have a food cage so oh wait enrichment no we, we're only having root blueprints <laughs> so no okay so we have to do research too on the giraffes uh so yeah it's a uh, hmm so I'm just going to make sure the hyenas could use a little bit more, but how about you? So we're going to move Carter to the Thompson Gazelle and I'm going to move Francesca to the Giraffe. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. And I think maybe in the next episode, we're going to hire another um, veterinarian. I think so. Look at that, guys. So once we have everything else on like pretty much a 100%, I think that we can expand this area a little bit more with some green because then it's the only thing that's basically hurting their welfare and I don't think that will cause us any issues with protesters. So I feel confident that we can also make this look more beautiful in a later stage. Now I do 
think that they... Is that right over here? No, the terrain. The long grass, using more long grass could potentially also work out here to, to create a nice, beautiful area. But I don't want to do that just yet. I want to make sure that we have all the green yet um, that I like, to my liking, <laughs> in this habitat. And then I'm going to redo the terrain coloring a little bit to make like grass sticking out of here because that is going to look way more natural in my for my taste. But look at that. This is looking really cool. I really, really like it. And uh, yeah, as I said, I will try to make some kind of collection for you guys so you can maybe, uh, maybe also use the ones that I'm not able to use. If you guys know how I can make sure to, uh, how I can make sure that these Africa, wait, are they now unlocked? They're unlocked. You're kidding. How did that happen? Oh, maybe because of the research? There are some really, really nice um, clusters in here. So, and if you don't know Inamazu yet, there are only four or five episodes, but it was a lot of fun and I, I really want to get back to it, but it was only doing nature because it's more of like a safari park and more like based in Africa in like the real... Uh, wildlife so yeah it's it's it was a little bit boring at some point because I couldn't really do anything with building so we might get back to it for like one episode and then leave it again for a little bit so we can just uh, combine it with other zoos that we're playing in with more building uh, but oh man this is looking so cute look at these little guys oh my goodness oh my gosh you're so adorable you are really cute. And so pretty. How are you liking our habits had? The coverage? You like more coverage. I like you too, then. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, pronghorn antelope is stressed. Oh, we're definitely having issues here. With these guys, although we do don't have protesters, so for some reason I feel like they are able to fix it themselves because they just walk to that area. What? No, 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 no. Is that Yates again? No, it's Rhea. Oh my gosh, you naughty, naughty Rhea. You are now able to, to, uh, <laughs> to walk out of this habitat. You're not? Yes, you are. Oh, shoo, how did she get up here again? We fixed it, didn't we? I mean... <laughs> well, we'll just, I will just fix this probably off camera because, oh my gosh, those naughty, naughty baby animals, it's, it's incredible. But I can still move you. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. These naughty animals are able to just climb out of this habitat all the time. <laughs> it's really funny though. But Yates, it's not your naughty Yates. So I don't know what happened to Yates actually. Because if, if Yates was so naughty the first time, why wouldn't he take his chances to go out the second time? I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hello, cutie. Oh my gosh, you're so adorable. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, you're s you have such a happy face. That is adorable. I hear so many things here. Oh my gosh. Nialas are super stressed now. Oh, I guess the crickets are not working and the signs are also not working. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We definitely need to give them a little bit more privacy. Maybe we should just close a little bit more off of the fencing here. Maybe that could al already just help them a little bit to have a little bit more privacy. I'm not really sure if that's going to work, but we could try it. And maybe in the other corner too. So if we just copy, uh, let's copy the same one. Oh my god, so many animals are stressed here. I can't remember that was this hard the first time we played franchise mode. Uh, maybe I just built more one-sided glass and, f and glass fences or something. That could be. Um, but let's just see if, if 
They're able to get a little bit less stress. There are all the Nialas. There are so many. Are these the same names? Oh, Badru. Yeah, okay. It's the same names. Oh, that's so sad. Look at you. <laughs> it's so much fun to see all these little cute babies in our zoo. They're so adorable. I really do hope that we are able to get some more uh, giraffes in here. Because the giraffes... Oh, they're just so pretty. But the zebras too, by the way. Hello. I am unsure if I ever had you in my zoos. <laughs> oh my god, you are so funny. Look at you. No, I'm pretty sure I never had you in one of my zoos. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> you are really cool. Can you make another noise for me? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're gonna lay down. Okay, that's fine. Last meal quality, too few adults. Where are... Our... Oh, wait, was that five? Maybe I didn't see it right. Black wildebeest? Seven. Oh, shoot. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, seven. So we need four more. That's where we're going to range that. I, I mean, I'm not the worst keeper here. I mean, I'm going to do my best. <laughs> So we're going to get four more females in and they're all bought for money. So I'm actually completely fine with that. Uh, all from Frontier Zoo, so we don't have to worry about any inbreeding or anything. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, I, I totally didn't see. I think I, I checked uh, the wrong animal. I guess I did. <laughs> It's all good. We're gonna check out all the other animals real quick because I just really want to make sure. We also have the camel in quarantine. I'm actually not sure how that camel is doing at this point. So we definitely need to check that out. Oh wait, that's the one I already clicked. So, okay, there you go. And we're gonna go and check out our camel in quarantine. On pause the game. Oh, you're already out there? Oh, okay. So that is not, uh, that doesn't have to go manually anymore. Well, that's a good thing, though. So you don't forget. I'm, I'm quite happy with that, actually. Lost meal quality. Do we already have some better food for you, maybe? Oh my god, you guys. The noise you make. I love it. I love it. It's so funny. Look at all these little cute babies here. And the noise. <laughs> Is that Rudy? No, it's Taban. Where's Rudy? Oh, there's Rudy. You're 20 years old. We do... Oh, I should not forget. Once we go and we're going to um, release some animals in the wild, I think we should try and keep some animals in here. Maybe some females and then add another male in look at this camel just cl what <laughs> was that oh my goodness you are so adorable i love you you're really really cute oh my gosh this is so awesome <laughs> yeah they're super cute but i think they're doing well and we're going to give them a little bit more a better food quality. So how are our lovely bungos doing? Do we already have a bungo derby face in here again? I do not think so. How are you doing? You're 10 years old, last meal quality. So I think we also should make sure that you have, no one is pregnant here. Am I seeing, no, you're not. I think I'm gonna do that then because if it's not going too fast, Okay, let's go and give you... Oh, you already have grade 3. And uh, make sure that the mechanic is coming every month. Or well, maybe every three months. But we definitely need a mechanic because our barrier status is not doing super well. Okay, so how about... Okay, Nialas, we checked. Do we have any better food for you? 
Last meal quality, 50 Why is it saying 50% then if it's already on grade 3 with the bungos? I'm a bit confused about that. Oh, guess who that is? Rhea! Naughty, naughty, naughty Rhea! Yo, I need to fix that. I need to fix that real quick, but it's gonna be fine. Naughty, naughty Rhea. I am, um... I'm not proud of you. No, no, you're not doing well. I don't agree with you escaping from our habitats. Is that this one maybe then? It could be. It's weird. We had it fixed, but now another animal came in and that animal is more smart than Yates. Oh no, there's Yates. <laughs> but Yates is not escaping anymore. How is that even possible though? Naughty, naughty, naughty. There you go. Okay, it's fixed again. <laughs> uh, okay, so while well, the stress, they can, they can lie down here. Maybe we should give them a little bit more hay beddings. Maybe we should give them a little bit more hay beddings. On this side. So they are more let to here. And they have some more privacy. I like that because you can't really tell from this side. Uh, okay, that's really cool though. Uh, we have some hyenas. How are the hyenas doing? Oh, that's so cool. I like that. Offspring July year, year 13. Okay, that's gonna take a while, but oh, I love it. I love it. We're, oh. If I am able to... Ah, uh, you're already not happy. Ah, uh, shoo. I wish I could add a little bit more of those African clusters here too. <laughs> Just because I can, you know. Uh, so the hyenas, are they too warm here actually? Or do they need coolers or did we already add coolers maybe? That could be. Uh, we don't have coolers. As of right now, the temperature, yeah, okay, so they do need some coolers in here, but that's fine, we can we can arrange that. Let's just give you also like 22 or something like that. Okay, so they are lowered in the ground, so they should start working pretty soon, I hope at least. And, um, yeah, I think, I think we're just gonna leave it for now, for today, and the next one we're going to use some more blueprints again. If anyone would like to build a desert themed, like the theme we have in our Discord server, so please join my Discord server if you want to make any blueprints. Uh, for this franchise series, we have a list there with like the things I need. There are not that many things on it right now, but I do would like to have some kind of veterinarian building with a quarantine maybe together. That will be really cool. And um, there's also a list in there with like the style we're going for. So yeah, definitely uh, go and check that one out. And if you want to use any of the blueprints, there is a link in the description with all the blueprints we are using in this series. Thank you guys so much for all your amazing, uh, for all your amazing blueprints so far. They're really, really incredible. I, I just, these guys. They're so pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel a little extra, you may want to consider to become a FayFam member with the link in the description. And just to clarify, next week I'm going to take a week off. So this franchise mode series will be back in August. So uh, I'll see you guys in August again. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.